welcome to STEM Club. And in today's Jurassic STEM Club, we're going to be looking at dinosaur teeth. Scientists can learn all sorts about dinosaurs from looking at their fossils. And this is very remarkable considering dinosaurs aren't around anymore. But by looking really carefully at the bones and what they find, they can learn lots about how dinosaurs used to live on our planet. And this includes what dinosaurs used to eat. We've got a really simple experiment for you to try at home to look at different dinosaur teeth. Now imagine you found a fossil that was very, very flat and maybe a bit round of a dinosaur tooth. And we've also found one that's very, very sharp, a bit like a knife. How can we work out what sort of things these dinosaurs used to eat? Are they herbivores or carnivores? Well, we can find out. So first of all, we need some rocks. So they're gonna be like our flat teethed dinosaur. So I've got a nice rock here, looks a bit like a dinosaur tooth. And I've got another rock for its munching mouth to go on top. So you can imagine dinosaurs here munching away. And then I've also got a staple remover and those are our sharp teeth. So you have to be very careful with these because they're very sharp. Then we need some leaves. So if they're herbivores, they're gonna eat leaves. So I've got some leaves here, so we'll grab a few of those grab a few leaves and then we've also got some cotton wool or just some fluff or stuffing and that's going to act like our meat because meat's actually made of lots of tendons and can be quite stringy and it's hard to pull apart so that is acting just like some meat in our model and then all you want to do is try and eat both different types of food with your different types of dinosaur and see what happens so let's start with our leaves what do you think is going to happen if we put our leaves into our rock? So let's give it a good munch. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's all. All right, that's, that is literally just crushing up the leaves really well. The leaves are doing really well at being cut up into lots of tiny bits. That's really amazing, actually, considering I'm just using two rocks here. I didn't realise that happened so well. But, so I'm guessing this one, what do you think it might be? might be a herbivore because of how well this can eat the leaves. So that is, yeah, my leaf has all been chewed up there and, made, and that was all ready to go into the dinosaur's tummy. So let's try our sharp tooth dinosaur with the leaves. So let's see how well it can eat these. Right, it's, to be honest, it's quite hard actually to get a leaf. And then, yeah, it kind of doesn't cut them up as well. It's quite hard, yeah, this is not working as well. So I'm not sure sharp tooth dinosaurs would eat leaves. So now we're going to try our meat. So we've got a nice bit of meat here that we're going to feed our dinosaurs. So we're going to start with, again, our dinosaur with very, very flat teeth. So let's see what happens if we feed our dinosaur with flat teeth some meat. Okay, do we think that the dinosaur with flat teeth is going to eat meat? What do you think? No, because as you can see, it's not really doing much. It's not, the teeth are not able to break down the meat at all. So that's not very helpful. Let's try our teeth with our sharp tooth dinosaur now. So if we try, and, oh my goodness, wow, look at this. So if you're a sharp tooth dinosaur, <laughs> eating, yeah, we've just eaten, look how easy that is. And that's so much easier than the plant as well to just chop up into little bits. This is a really simple experiment for you to try at home. So why don't you give it a go making a flat tooth dinosaur and a sharp tooth dinosaur and seeing which dinosaur ate which thing. I think we've worked it out. Did you work it out correctly too? So our flat teeth dinosaur was a herbivore eating leaves and our sharp tooth dinosaur is a carnivore eating meat. There are all sorts of other dinosaurs with different shaped teeth and you can find out more about those on the Twinkle website as well. We'd love to see what you get up to, so do share your results on our Twinkle Home Educators Facebook group and we'll see you again soon for more STEM fun.